You see this thing? Very nice skin, with detailed artwork, and for an op, it's always going to be valuable. Let me present you with this though. Almost the same thing, but not quite as bright on the body, and an almost completely black barrel and a scope. There's been quite a bit of conversation around the Desert Hydra, and if the Battle Scarred potentially looks better than the factory new. It's all personal preference, but I think both versions of the op are very viable. When looking through various floats, anywhere from factory new to field tested, it looks very similar. There's a brightness difference I noticed on the body, but I don't think most people would notice that difference in game. From the bottom end of field tested throughout well worn, the barrel starts to get black along with the scope. This will continue until about 0.55, which I consider the golden zone. From 0.55 to 0.6, which is the maximum float you can get, the barrel and scope are almost completely black. This is the look you would be going for. Currently, there's pretty heavy overpay for these black scope desert hydras, but it won't stay that way. There will be many more added on the market throughout the course of the operation, and if you're lucky, you may be able to get one at markets or just above. What excites me about these black hydras is how hard it will be to get one in a trade-up. It would be necessary to get high float items for your trade up to get in that zone for a maximum black scope and barrel. So just to create a visual here, let's say you don't want to take any risk and you put 10 fennec fox deagles into the trade up. Max float on the deagle is 0.8. The float outcome would be 0.48. That's not high enough to be a black hydra. Basically because of the float caps on the mirage collection pinks, it's necessary that you would need high float fillers outside of the Mirage collection, that lowers your chances of hitting. With pinks being float capped, it would also be less common for these battle scarred examples to drop, making it hard on that front as well. Basically, it's hard to get a good black hydra as a drop because of the 0.05 float window. It's also hard to get one from a trade up because the pinks that you would need are float capped, so you need some 0.9 or higher fillers. The supply is always going to be low on these black hydras compared to how many low float desert hydras will exist. Will the battle scarred hydra be more than factory new? No, not a regular battle scarred. I think battle scarred will cost more than well worn, as well worn is just a weird mix between black and white. Maybe it's just personal opinion, but I don't think anyone wants one of those. With field tested to factory new looking very similar, I think all of those will cost more than a regular battle scarred example. The current market at the time of recording this video reflects that, and I would expect that to be consistent with what we see in the future. I do believe that black hydras will cost more than your typical 0.04 float factory new. It's a completely different look, and it's going to be uncommon. Usually we think battle scarred is synonymous with trash, but the desert hydra is different. I think there's enough people that understand this that it wouldn't be difficult to sell for overpay. Let's say, nearing the operation, a factory new Desert Hydra sells for $1,500. I would not hesitate spending $1,500 for something in that 0.55 to 0.6 float range. When more sales come through, we have a better idea of what people are willing to spend for these, but I think the good examples will be worth quite a bit of overpay. Considering the quantity of these ops, the only way I would consider buying one of these is either a very low float or a very high. Personally, I prefer the high. 